So there are passive speakers and there are powered speakers. What's the difference? Passive speakers need their input signal to come from an amplifier, which may be part of a receiver or a separate unit. The reason for this is because they don't have one built in. Powered speakers, also known as active speakers, contain their own amplifier, which means they're a bit more versatile. For example, you could go straight from a turntable with a preamp, like our RT80 and RT81, directly into the speakers. This would require no receiver and leave you with a nice, clean setup. Another common use of active speakers is using them as computer speakers, or even simply as Bluetooth speakers. The downside to active speakers is that, because they're one unit, you cannot upgrade the amplifier and speaker separately. However, amplifiers and powered speakers are generally very well matched to their drivers. Amplifier manufacturers tend to overbuild their amps to ensure that they can accommodate a wider range of speakers. One plus to passive speakers is that it's easier to upgrade your home theater. Many consumers assemble their systems piecemeal, and being able to upgrade the speakers and amplifiers separately makes it a little easier to match components. One downside to passive speakers is that you have more cables and it can be more challenging to keep a clean setup. You have to run cables from the sound source to the amplifier or receiver to the speakers. For more great videos from Fluence, be sure to subscribe or click here.